What's up guys, it's Even10 here. So I'm super excited to bring in this video and I'm gonna try and keep it quick uh, for two reasons. First one is I wanna get you guys this uh, alpha Praxis fit as soon as possible because we only have a limited amount of time to run this uh, event and I actually think I found probably the cheapest, lowest skill, efficient, um, Praxis fit or like low budget fit that you could possibly do to run these events very very comfortably I didn't have any issue. I don't think I ever went below like 50% shields the entire time with this fit um, So I want to show you guys that in a little bit, but the second reason is is that I actually got these um, Like five minutes before I was about to record this video I got a pleasant email from CCP giving me the new vexer scope syndication skin. So I um, claimed all of them they're in my um, box here in Jita. I want to make sure you guys take advantage of it because I made a promise I think a few videos ago that if I get a new list of skins uh, for the month you know because each month we get new skins I would give out a pretty healthy amount over the next few days because you guys aren't gonna get better prices for selling them on the market than like the first like two or three days so I'm gonna be giving away six skins uh, two each day over the next three days so if you guys are a little bit late and you guys don't say watch this video the first day that's fine you have two more days to be able to do it so down in the comments below I'm gonna need two things from you guys obviously your in-game name and the second thing is just whatever you guys are looking forward to or what have your experiences been so far with the gala event have you lost a ship like I did I tried running uh, a very very cheap gnosis fit that ended up dying didn't work at all uh, that's pretty funny that's gonna be here uh, in the stream that I'm gonna show you guys here in a little bit uh, or you know exploration sites what fits have you done to, to run these sites comfortably whatever you guys want to talk about but just something involving the, the gala event or something you're looking forward to uh, put that down in the comments below and you guys will be entered into the giveaway uh, okay so switching gears here I will be covering the fit here as soon as uh, I can so we're got it pulled up um, so the Praxis Alpha Gala Fit 1.1 so the first version of the fit I have and I, I think it's on my um, Eve workbench like profile or whatever so if you guys want to make an extra effort to check that out you can I think it was pretty over tanked um, so I really actually removed some of the extra like shield boosting power I even removed the, the damage control in the low slot because I felt like we just we didn't really need it but long story short we're gonna and it says right here it's alpha suitable so for you guys that are alpha accounts um, as long as you have decent like uh, support and the skills kind of involving like engineering and stuff like that you guys should be fine with this fit um, I will say and I did actually put a bunch of notes down here too about the event itself So you guys just have a heads up of uh, what's gonna happen. So just to just to kind of cover the fit very quickly I know you guys can just click on the link and look at it uh, Using the Arbalest rapid heavy uh, missile launcher ones. Those are the best t2 uh, Non t2 versions of like the rapid heavies that you can use running three capacitor uh, Control circuits just for that cap region to fight some of those newts because there is actually a decent amount of newts usually each pocket or each wave will have like one or two frigates with a very tiny newt. What you really need to look out for are like the battleships that warp into the pocket and then they start newting you really hard. Those are the ones you have to focus down really quickly. So we have those. I also have a medium Solus scoped remote armor repair. You don't need this, but I have it just because I noticed that the drones get focused very, very, very hard in this event. Um, I put some notes down below, which I'll cover more here in a little bit. Uh, target painter, just the face scoped target painter. I never used target painters literally before this day if you guys actually watch the stream down here in the bottom right um, I actually took some feedback from people in the comments we changed up the fit and it actually ended up working really well we noticed the clear speeds were better um, we we're able to run the uh, we weren't as tanked as we were before but we were so over tanked we, I was willing to sacrifice um, some resistances and stuff like that uh, Republic Fleet large cap battery uh, enduring shield booster so we're actually running enduring like everything just to kind of help save on capacitor um, same thing with a cap recharger the stalwart restrained shield boost amplifier because the t2 version you have to have omega so we actually had to use like a meta version um, as well we're also running an extra large clarity award enduring shield booster um, i'm not going to cover the fit too much but uh, we're actually not running a damage control because again i think we were just really over tanked and i'd rather just have extra application with the two with the double uh, missile guidance enhancer twos as well as the double ballistic um control system twos as well so we're actually doing more damage we can actually hit frigates with this with this ship as well as with the target painter it's actually really easy um, on the right side we have all the typical tags and this whole fit is under like 230 million is so that's that'll probably be in the title of the video um, as well on the right side is actually the six hour stream i did yesterday uh covering this event i spent a good portion of it just flying around trying to find stuff but um, i did the event sites about six times the first four i believe were with the old fit which I was really over tanked and clearing the sites took a very long time and then once we switched it up to this fit we're able to clear the sites perfectly fine much quicker we had more than enough tank to still get away with it um, if we look down here at the notes 
Um, as you guys can see here, if you guys go to the five hour and 14 minute mark, uh, and that video in the top right, that's actually me running the, the new fit. And you can actually see it's, it's relatively easily. Um, I was able to run it easily. There was only one time where I actually had to overheat my booster and I think I was over, kind of over exaggerating. I didn't need to do it, but I just want to play on the safe side. But I never got below 50% shields or 40% capacitor uh, with this fit. Um, your drones will get focused very, very hard in this event. Uh, like it says right here, sometimes your drones will get scrammed web shot at within six seconds of deploying them, so be careful. Um, your light drones will, some of your light drones, if you're not careful enough, they will get killed within like 10 seconds of deploying them, uh, even some of the T2 ones. So if you guys don't want to use the light drones and you guys just want to double down on mediums, you can definitely do that. So you can definitely run um, uh, 10 mediums and five heavies in the site and still be fine because the target painter will help you uh, with the damage application for your missiles and your drones. So that's why I said use mediums and heavies for even the frigates, that kind of stuff. You can even attack the ships that are close to you because you do have a series of frigates that will orbit you at about five kilometers and then another series of frigates and destroyers and ships orbiting you at about like 18 kilometers. So that's why I didn't use a web of fire or a stasis scrappler because there are those frigates or those ships like really far out um, and you wanna be able to apply that damage with your drones as well. Uh, focus the biggest ships first. Obviously that's what's gonna have the best loot. If you're not alone in your um, event site, other people will be focusing the battleship, so it is pretty much like a DPS race. I will say, if you're in a, if you're if you're fighting trying to out DPS a rattlesnake or a golem, it's not going to happen. So just try and focus the other stuff, because even some of the smaller ships have some pretty good skins and some other things you can loot from. Uh, but just definitely focus down those battleships if you are running solo, because they will loot you and do a ton of damage. Uh, be sure to reload your rapid heavy missile launchers because the rapid heavies do take like 35 seconds to reload. There was a point where, like I said before, I actually had to overheat my booster. I don't think I needed to, but I was actually reload. I didn't reload my weapons ahead of time. And before the I killed that wave, the wave of battleships, battle cruisers, cruisers, everything started shooting me and I was reloading my weapon and I was recalling my drone. So I basically not defending myself and I was reloading. So I was taking a ton of damage to the face. And so it got a little hairy, but I made it out just fine. Um, the remote armor repair isn't needed, like it says here. It can even be upgraded to a large if you feel like it, but that's mostly because as I was recalling my heavy drones, they would get like literally triple webbed and double scrammed and like they're trying to come back to you at like 200 meters a second. So I was just repping them and they were taking a lot of damage. Um, so again, it's not needed, but just be careful not to shoot your own drone like I did. I actually ended up killing one, one of my own drones by accidentally shooting it because I was trying to switch between the two. So if you're not used to using arm, like remote armor repairs just be careful with that as well but that's pretty much it like it says right here it's cap stable um we have a lot like the damage application with the uh scope target painter is on there as well i do suggest if you guys have not ran the site at least just watch the video at least a portion of it it doesn't matter what point whether you want to watch it from the beginning or from the point that i suggested but just so you guys can get a feel because there are a ton of frigates a ton of small ships honestly it's really annoying um, I still had fun, but it was just kind of annoying dealing with that many small ships in a battleship and having your drones get focused that hard. Um, I suggest using mostly the mediums. Uh, I did put the Caldari Nova heavy missiles as well as just the normal heavy, or the normal heavy missiles. So whichever damage you want to, whichever missiles you want to use, whether you want to save some ISK or whether you want to willing to upgrade for that extra damage, you can definitely do that. So that's pretty much it, guys. Don't forget to put in your in-game name in whatever experience or whatever you're looking for for the, for the Gale event here in 2021. Hope you guys take care and don't forget to fly safe.